Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today, everything I bought from the Nordstrom sale, I shopped online and in person this year. It was very overwhelming, but I actually ended up buying a lot more stuff from the end sale this year than I thought I was going to. Not all of it has come in. I will show you guys the stuff at the end that hasn't come in yet though. It's more accessories than fashion pieces, so it's not that big of a deal, but everything I'm talking about is gonna be linked in the description bar below for y'all to shop with sizing information, I will also include links if it's available like for the same price on a different website just in case it is sold out at Nordstrom. So everything is going to be linked in the description bar below. Make sure to follow me on all social media channels and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about the sweater first anyway. So this is from Free People at Nordstrom. I actually bought this off Amazon before the sale went live because they had it for just a couple dollars more expensive than it was for on sale at Nordstrom. I'm not sure if that is still the case. I will link them both from Nordstrom and Amazon below. But fits true true to size, really, really comfortable. It is cropped, not oversized, not, you know, standard or anything. This is definitely a little bit above prop. Well, maybe it's not cropped. Maybe it's more just like it hits at your true waistline, but it's not oversized, which a lot of free people stuff usually is. It does have a slight fringe at the neck here and it has a collar as well, but washed and dried like beautifully free people stuff usually does. Only thing is it does wrinkle fairly easy because this has been hanging up and you can kind of see it's got wrinkles in it, which is a big pet peeve of mine. I find that the free people sweater that they had last year on sale, I think it's also on sale this year, their sweaters just wrinkle easy, which is a little frustrating because you do need to make sure that they're like, you know, not wrinkled before you leave the house if that's going to bother you. But apart from that, absolutely zero complaints. The color I'm wearing is Pebble. The sleeve length is really long on this. So great sweater, great basic, going to be something that people are wearing a lot this fall. I am sure of it. But like I said, you can get it from Nordstrom or Amazon. And then I did want to just cover the Spanx leggings because these are on the sale every year. They are the best of the best leggings. And like I told you guys they have them on Spanx website right now for the exact same price that they are on sale for at Nordstrom I don't know if they will keep that through the end of the sale but if you can't find your size at Nordstrom just know Spanx has the same price they are amazing size up one because that will still suck you in but it won't make it like uncomfortable and you like are like struggling to breathe or anything now it's not gonna be a full outfit but these boots are also on the Nordstrom sale I absolutely love them I did size up half a size because I am a nine and a half that's what Nordstrom told me to do and I feel like that was a really good call they are a Western boot style so they have that dip in the front and then they have zippers on the inside but very comfortable I bought these couple weeks before the Nordstrom sale actually and I'm very glad that I have them because I have heard that stock on these kind of goes in and out so love the color love how comfortable they are they're gonna be so cute for fall <sighs> I really wanted them to work with this outfit but super super comfy another free people sweater I'm going to be totally honest with y'all I was not really thinking I was going to get this one but then when I saw it in store I was like I need it full disclosure now it's sold out right now but I'm sure they're gonna bring it back Walmart has a dupe for this sweater I've seen it in three colors I am betting you money that they will bring that back this fall so if you don't want to pay the price for this one you can maybe hold out but I mean worth every penny in my opinion free people sweaters are super soft this one is a little bit longer I I am wearing a small in this one, so technically not my true size at the current moment, but the length is awesome, especially because I have a long torso. Sleeve length on it is amazing as well, and it's just super cozy. Walmart offered this sweater, I believe in black, beige, and like a neon color. There are a lot more color options available with free people in the Nordstrom sale, but oh, I wasn't sure about this one. And when I saw it in person, it is so, so cozy. Again, it doesn't tear up when you wash and dry it. Actually looks decent with the boots, but this color, I saw a lot of pink on the sale. So I think this color is going to be really pretty for fall still. Definitely not just like a spring or summer color. So love, love this find. This jacket was like number one on my wish list this year. It is so comfortable. It is a Sherpa jacket, which is why I wanted it so bad because I've been really struggling. My looks for less video is coming later this week and I've really been struggling to find a Sherpa jacket that looks like this, but it has pockets on either side, buttons all the way down the front. So again, in true like jacket style, you can wear it buttoned up and just wear this or wear it open. I lived in jackets while I was pregnant because you do have that option to do them both ways. Just really comfortable. The length to this one is nice and I'm wearing my true size medium and the sleeve length is great on these two. So again, the kind of selling point for me on this one was 
just the fact that it's like Sherpa and Shacket, my two favorite things. But the print is really nice too, and this one washed and dried beautifully without shedding at all, which usually Sherpa materials do not do well in the washer and dryer, at least in my experience. So this one did great. And then the booties. So I'm gonna take these off and show them to you up close in a second. These are the Steve Madden booties. And to be honest, the brown color, or like the more cognac color in these was out of stock and is like still out of stock at the time. I think these booties are a lot more universal as far as the color goes. They do have a slight Western appearance to them, but not near as Western looking as they seem online. But I really think these are the booty color that like you need to gravitate towards because I have a pair of Mark Fisher booties in this color color and the cognac color and I wear the Mark Fisher booties in this one a lot more so a lot more universal very comfortable size up half a size in all Steve Madden shoes that's also what Nordstrom site says they have a slit in the side just so 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 nice and just so you can see there is a pretty good heel height to them but Steve Madden shoes are really really comfortable and then the western booty detail but like I said this color I think is a lot more of a staple for fall rather than cognac Y'all know I love a good kimono and this color is so pretty. I actually did not really love this online, but when I saw it in person, I fell in love. The colors are so pretty. It does wrinkle very easy though. Like I have steamed this and then hung it up and it is wrinkled again. So keep in mind, but it does have a slit in the side, really good length to it. It covers right at your elbows. I have my a long sleeve shirt on, but I have it pulled up because I'm about to show it to you guys with a skirt in a second. But I adore this. It's definitely very, very thin. Thin, not something that's going to provide a lot of warmth during the cooler months, but a really great fall piece, especially colors. I'm so sorry. The sun keeps going in and out of the clouds, so bear with me, but just really comfortable. Washed and dried great. Just does wrinkle easy, so keep that in mind. I was so excited about this skirt, and we washed it exactly according to its wash instructions because I knew that this was one that was going to be a little bit stingy. Can you guys see that right there? It is completely picked in like three places. And then there's a spot on the back where the skirt like color is also coming off. So I bought this from the Nordstrom sale, but it has already torn up, which is super frustrating. I will look to find a like look for less for this one as far as the color goes, because I know that Amazon has a couple skirts that are like this, but the color is what drew me to it. They actually had it modeled with a black top like this, this brown skirt, and then like a pair of like white booties and I loved it. But yeah, I'm really disappointed in the fact that this one's already torn up. I'm wearing my true size medium, I guess, you know, still buy it if you are cool with proceeding with caution, but in my opinion, and it's just not worth it because I mean it's torn up and you can see it like if you're just standing here you can see that little pick right there which is really frustrating but apart from that I mean this was gonna be such a good cute fall outfit for me but skirts a no-go okay little bit of a different fall piece but I have this sweatshirt in gray and black from Nike and I love it so much so I did decide to get the lime one on the Nordstrom sale this year it is very very cropped I am wearing a small I believe but I will confirm that and put it in the description bar below great sleeve length washes and dries beautifully this is a super super warm sweatshirt I actually wore this a lot in gray and black when I was pregnant just because it has the right amount of give here and so it's very very flexible to wear if you're like pregnant you don't have to feel like you can't wear this I just wore it with like maternity leggings but I'm all about the neon this year so I thought you know we'll go a little different we'll wear the fall neon too so got this from Nike during the sale very cute very comfy love love the quality of Nike stuff Okay, so one more thing that is on the Nordstrom sale that I actually do have in, but it's not fashion related, is this little food set that I got for Ezra. So it is a bowl, this little mat on here that will like stick to his high chair. It comes with this little cup, you guys, like tiny cup and then two spoons so I got this because I wasn't expecting it but he has been like hitting and passing his milestones perfectly and last time we were at the pediatrician she said that if he keeps this up when he goes back for his four month checkup we will talk food she said solid I'm not ready yet I know we have a while until you know he probably starts eating more real food rather than like pureed stuff but I did want to be prepared so I went ahead and bought this on the Nordstrom sale and I am just 
I'm so stressed. I started following a couple accounts that do like talk about baby led weaning and eating and introducing food and stuff on Instagram. And one of the things that they said was to buy when you're introducing food to your child, something that is like a bowl where all of the food can sit together because if you start them out with food that is divided, then that can create a child who is really, really nervous about their food touching and will think if their food touches that they can't eat it. Of course, that's not probably the case for every baby, but I just wanna make sure that we have one open bowl for him so that his food, when he does start eating it, whenever his pediatrician says it's good to go, you know, his food will touch. And so he won't hopefully be one of those who thinks his food can't touch at all. So I just can't believe that we're already here. Like, I feel like I just gave birth yesterday and we're already talking about my son eating food. And it's just like, huh. But I got that set from the Nordstrom sale and I'm so glad I got it because it's just one stop shop for everything that he will use when we do start him eating soon. Now I did put on this hat to share with you guys. You have probably seen me wear this hat a ton here on my channel. I am a hat person. I got this last year on the Nordstrom sale and it's a really pretty light taupe color. What I love about this brand is they have sizes. It's not a one size fits all, which is so good. It's so frustrating that they make one size fits all hats. I got this in a large and I love it. I wear it all the time. So I bought the brown this year. I am so excited for that hat to come in. They do also have it in black. I don't know, I don't really wear black hats a lot. If I was to wear like a black outfit, I would more gravitate towards this color. So I did get the brown. It is out for delivery today, but it's not supposed to be here until like seven or eight o'clock. So I did wanna go ahead and just film this, but I'm really excited because I have had this hat for a year and the quality is amazing. It's held up beautifully. I wear it a ton. And so I now have it in the brown color on its way too. So I actually purchased this after I saw it in person, but they didn't have the letter that I wanted. So the, I believe it said Braca necklace. There's an Amazon look for less with the necklace that like doesn't have stones around it. So I didn't really want to get that one, but when I saw the necklace in person and I saw the one that has the stones around it, I was like, I need this and I need it with an E. So I did have to buy that one online. My Nordstrom did not have an E. So it is actually on its way to me now. And I am so, so excited because you guys know I like love to wear. I mean, I literally have this necklace on that has Ezra's name on it. I have this bracelet here. Like I love wearing his name and initial. So I did get that one with an E and I cannot wait for it to come in because I think it's going to just be so, so pretty to wear in the fall time. And again, it's not that simple initial, but it does have like stones around it. So it's a little bit dressier. And then this pink off the shoulder sweater, I went back and forth about getting this one. I saw it in store, but they did not have my size. And so I did have to also get this one online. It is so gorgeous. It feels so cozy. I like off the shoulder sweaters because I feel like you can also kind of manipulate them and wear them like big open scoop neck style. Again, I saw a lot of pink on the fall sale this year. So I was very impressed with that. Usually I feel like you don't see as much pink in the fall time. And again, like the Nike sweatshirt, like lots of neon. But when I saw that sweater in person, I knew I needed it. So ordered it online, got it in my true size. I will have to keep you guys updated on um, how it fits, but they had a large or no, they had an extra large in the store and it was just way too big. So I'll keep you guys updated on how it fits when it does come in, but I cannot wait for that one to get here. I am still going to keep my eyes out for the Steve Madden Brown booties in the cognac color. They didn't even have them at my Nordstrom. She's said that those are out of stock and seem to be staying out of stock. Again, I do think that the like lighter taupe color is a little bit more universal as far as what you can like wear it with. But I think that Steve Madden makes really great staple booties. And so I definitely want to try and get my hands on the cognac if possible. Um, if not, and they do go up to the regular retail price, I will not be buying them because they are outrageously expensive and I'm sure we're gonna be able to find a look for less, but I'm gonna keep an eye out for those. And then for things that are not on the sale that I just did buy anyway is actually this top. I will put a picture up on the screen. I love this top. It's from Treasure and Bond and I knew I wanted another Treasure and Bond flannel. I got one last year, it was on the sale, but this one actually isn't. Treasure and Bond makes really, really nice high quality flannels, but they are a thinner material. So they're great for layering, especially during the fall and winter time. You can wear them for work. You can wear them very casually. You can dress them up as much as, I mean, you know, a top like this can be dressed up, but I think that Treasure and Bond just makes really great staple tops in general. So the flannel pattern, don't let it like, you know, throw you off and think you can't wear that. It's super cute, very comfortable. I'm wearing my true size medium, not on the sale this year, but I knew I needed another one and I really like the colors of this one. 
and then last again not on sale so I know that there are two Kurt Geiger bags that are on sale this year at Nordstrom but they are just too small for me to justify spending the money on I feel like they would hold like my phone and my wallet and that's it and I just I can't justify buying or spending that kind of money on something that only holds like you know, 12% of what I needed to. So although I did check out the Kurt Geiger bags and they are beautiful, I did not buy them. I ended up buying this one that is not on sale and I am so, so happy with this purchase. It is the most beautiful bag. I shared this on my TikTok. You can wear it crossbody like this or it does have the adjustable straps. You can wear it on your shoulder, just, you know, with the straps like this, or it is adjustable and you can wear it cross body style. But I just feel like, although again, this is not on the Nordstrom sale, I just think the bags that they do have are just a little bit too small. I mean, you can still see this one's fairly small, but it holds a lot of stuff and I will show you guys for reference. So I have the iPhone 13 Pro X. I think I have like the biggest iPhone that you can possibly get. It's the iPhone 13, whichever the biggest model is. And I do have a pop socket on the back that like kind of broken and doesn't fully go down. And you can see it fits perfectly down in here. And although it doesn't appear like it, there is actually still room behind my phone to put like keys or a wallet or something. And then I do have this whole compartment here as well. So this is going to be the bag that y'all see me carrying this fall. I will probably start carrying it very soon because it does just still hold a decent amount of stuff while still being on the smaller side. All right, guys, and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know that I said it a couple times in the video that I do have my looks for less video coming later this week. There are still a couple things I'm kind of keeping my eye out for. Hopefully we can like dupe them, but I will keep you guys updated. So video is coming. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you guys so much, and I hope that I see you in my next video.